Now, what are the challenges of architecture, particularly software architecture? Well, the, the first challenge is that the systems we're trying to build are becoming bigger and more complex and are less well known. That is, uh, the, the problem we're trying to solve is less well understood and less well sorted out. It's not as if somebody comes to you and says, we want you to build this. Uh, they come to you and they want your help in figuring out um, what can be built, how it can be built, and how, how we can solve the problem. So you're contributing to the, the problem solving in the first place. And this complicates things a bit. There is an increasing need to incorporate legacy systems into uh, the, the, the IT systems that you build in particular. Um, by now, it's, it's rare, if not completely unknown, to have a completely green field where you can build it completely from scratch without um, uh, interfacing to legacy systems. Possibly you could with uh, phone apps because each of those can act pretty independently and um, you don't need to interface too much with, um, with any, any legacy system. But the commercial reality for any of the uh, commercial systems, the IT systems, is you will be dealing with legacy. There is a trend toward uh, implementing systems as a collaboration of loosely coupled components um, as opposed to a, you know, a tightly, tightly um, coordinated um, monolithic thing. Um, so systems, I don't know, you could say they're a hash up or, or you, you could describe them as um, uh, yeah, collaborations of, of systems or subsystems. Um, but it's getting kind of hard to keep track of it all. And of course now, um, people, a lot of people are now starting to introduce uh, product lines and product line architecture. Now, a product line architecture, as we'll see in, in one of the later lectures, is um, something of a specialty and it can be done well or it can be done not so well. Certainly in software development terms, very few of us have got much experience with product lines and how to design a good product line. So we're still uh, hunting through that. But that's one of the challenges that are coming up as well. Now, one of the big challenges is we are modeling more complex problems. And as I said before, less well-known problems. So, so <laughs> we're trying to, trying to organize a ball of mud into something that makes sense. Architecture can and should be used to model the problem. That's fine, okay. Organizations also are tackling less well understood and less well ordered problems. I mean, the problem that, that might come to you is we want to increase market share. I think it's a fairly common problem. And, or we want to hold on to our existing customer base. That's the problem. Um, but precisely what the IT system should be that would help to, to respond to that problem is not that well known and um, the observation is that the um, what is possible you know the, the solution the the problem and the solution interact i mean um, the possible problems are determined by the possible solutions and it, it kind of co-evolves in many ways so that's a challenge for the architect, particularly as architects tend to be the first um, uh, the first place where the the IT system gets considered.